All right. Yeah. Brian, what, you, what exactly are you showing me here? Yeah, so Rob, immediately after you make a swing on Swing Bite, this is the one you just made here, you'll get a face on view of your swing, which you can animate from start to finish, stopping at various points along the way to, to check and see, you know, if you're focusing on your takeaway position, for example. Here we are all the way back down now into impact. So let's say in a use case you were focusing on your takeaway. Uh, some angles are better than others for learning and studying different parts of your swing. Down the line would probably be a better way to, to, to study your takeaway position. So the dotted line is your original shaft angle. We'll just keep a, a, that suspended there as a static reference. And so there you are at your quarterback position. Uh, we've just pulled out your plane number there, for example, and then that's a visual representation of where your club face would be at that point as well. Another interesting spot to study that point, if that's what you were focusing on, would be from overhead. Kind of a tough camera angle to get, especially outside. But so, for example, let's say um, this color, what you're seeing here is this color-coded uh, trail of the club head in space is by miles per hour at every point throughout the swing. The red line is as though you had a laser pointer coming out of either end of the club. There's the laser pointer coming out of the club head side. Here it is now coming out of the butt end side. Here's the butt end now coming into the downswing and the club head side now in impact. So that's a very tight pattern. Again, we're not going to be the ones to be prescriptive. We'll tell you what you are doing, not necessarily what you should, because, you know, again, Ryan Moore's pattern and Ray Floyd's will look totally different. They're both pretty darn good golfers. Just a way for a person to establish their pattern, what they do when they hit a good shot and how to repeat that. So yeah, so basically, any like even if you're not working professional, you could at least take, if you kind of have an idea of, you know, like since the basics of it, you could at least see patterns, right? Exactly, so we, right, a pattern emerges over time about what you do when you hit one well versus right. when you don't. And then if you are working with an instructor, one of the, you know, the, the better use cases we believe would be, for example, you know, Rob, your instructor says, all right, I want you to really work on driving your, your plane line pattern pretty close to your target line. Or from uh, face on, you know, I really want you to create a bigger difference between the arc of your downswing versus your backswing. Or you can help that student focus in on a couple data points. You could say, okay, Rob, you know, your club path angle at impact is 0.4 degrees in out. That's pretty neutral. That's really good. Keep that the same. Right. Tempo angle, that's pretty good. Keep that the same. But this number, this club face angle right. at address is, is too open. That created this that slice. This slice. Um, so you could then use those numbers as a way to, you, you know, swing to swing a reference point and a way to learn. Mm -hmm. Keep the same, keep the same, change that. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, that's going to make students better students when they return to a, an instructor after a month of not right. seeing them in person, but having that data at hand. And, and that just feeds the, the improvement loop. Right. So what about, the, does this information get stored somewhere besides it's on your device? It does, yeah, exactly. Every swing that you make that's captured on your tablet or phone then gets uploaded to the cloud, and you can see here right on your tablet, you'll also have a, a history, but you'll also have an online account of every swing you've ever made. Uh, and then also online, the ability to run some deeper analytics, the ability to uh, communicate with your instructor about so you certain share things. That, you like, like send a link to it. Like, could you, do you have to make it publicly available, or can it be like private? No, like, just just private. private exactly. Oh. Like in um, you know other uh, sort of video swing analysis okay. communities, just private exchange between you and your instructor. That's great. Be able to do the same thing on Swingbite. Awesome.